trigonometric identities, reflection identities. So in this video, I'll explain you and prove to you the reflection identities. Well, sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta, cos of minus theta is cos sine theta, and tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. So these are the reflection identities, the fourth set of identities which you should know when you're solving trigonometric identities or proving trigonometric identities, okay? So here I'll provide you with a small proof, right? A very simple way of proving these identities. So let's look into that. So what I will do is I'll make a coordinate system here and uh, two triangles for you. One in coordinate one and the other in quadrant two, four rather. So, so that is just a reflection of this same distance away, quadrant two, right? So here what we have is, let's take a point here, which will be P as X, Y, that is general quadrant in quadrant one, okay? Now, and we are assuming this to be angle theta. Now, when we say minus theta, then we are actually going counterclockwise, but the same amount, the size is same of the angle, the magnitude is same, but direction is reverse. So it is minus theta, right? In trigonometry, whenever you go clockwise, the angle is treated as negative, okay? So if this is a reflection, let me call this as P dash as a reflection. So the point here is that the X value will remain same, correct? x is same but y becomes minus of y so this quadrant is x and minus y i should write minus y okay so this quadrant here is x minus y correct and the radius let me call this as r which is x square plus y square square root and that will always be positive correct r is what so r is equal to square root of x square plus y square right even if y is negative we get this as positive, right? So R is same, and R is always positive, right? So in our coordinate system, what we have is, this is my X coordinate uh, axis, and that is my Y coordinate axis, okay? And this is my origin, O, correct? Now, from here, we can prove that sine of minus theta is minus sine theta, okay? How? What is sine of minus theta? So when we say sine of minus theta, we are considering the triangle in quadrant four, right? So let me write this quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four, okay? So when I say sine of minus theta, I'm referring to the triangle which is in quadrant four. And let me write this point as Q. So in triangle OPQ, what is sine of minus theta? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Here, opposite side is minus y, correct? This is opposite side, QP dash, right? So sine of minus theta, you could write as QP dash divided by OP dash, correct? And QP dash is minus y. So we have minus y here and OP dash is R. So that is what is sine of minus theta, correct? And now let's look into what is minus sine theta. Sine theta is how much? Sine theta is PQ over OP, right? So, so let's, we'll put equal to, only if they are equal, right? So let me write minus of sine theta. Sine theta is, opposite side is PQ, over OP. So we write QP over OP, which is QP is positive Y, right? So minus of minus Y plus Y, sorry. And OP is R, correct? So which happens to be minus Y over R, right? Because that is negative. Is that okay? So that becomes, both becomes equal, correct? You can see sine theta is what? If I have to write sine theta here, sine theta is y over r, right? 
but sine of minus it has minus y over r. So these two can be equal only if I write minus here. Is it okay? This is another way of looking into it and I find this to be better way of doing it. So we will write like this. Sine of minus theta is minus y over r but sine theta is y over r. To make it equal, let's multiply by minus both sides. We get minus sine theta equals to minus y over r. And these two are equal, right? So we proved the first identity. Similarly, what is cos of minus theta? Cos of minus theta is, let's write soka to also here, which will help us to understand what these are, right? So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, correct? And cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is opposite over adjacent correct so now we're talking about cos so cos of minus theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse which is oq over op right which is oq is how much oq is x value is that okay oq is x and or is op is r op dash so cos of minus theta is actually x over r, right? And how about cos of theta? Cos of theta is also x over r because the sine of r remains same, right? So both of them are equal. So we proved that cos of minus theta is actually cos theta, right? Since cos remains positive in these two coordinates, they are positive. So what helps you to remember that? That is the cost rule. So we have cost rule C for cos, A for all, S for sine, and T for tangent, right? Now let's look into the third reflection identity, which is tan of minus theta equals to minus tan theta. One way to look into it is using cost rule. Tan of minus theta means you are in quadrant 4, in, and tan theta is in quadrant 1. Since tan is negative in quadrant 1, we have to make negative of tan theta to make both same, right? So tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. That's one way of looking into it. The other way is, what is tan minus theta? Tan minus theta means you are in the quadrant 4 with the triangle OQP dash. So tan of minus theta will be QP dash divided by OQ. So it will be Q P dash divided by O Q, right? And what is Q P dash? Q P dash is minus Y. So we write minus Y over O Q, which O Q is X. O Q is X, right? This side is X for us. This side is minus Y. And this side is Y for us. When we say X, Y quadrant, right? So, so what we get? We get minus y over x. Okay, so we get minus of y over x. Is that okay? But what is y over x? y over x is tan theta. So we can write this as minus of tan theta. So that is another way of proving it. So you will see that I have proved all the three identities in different ways. One way, sine of minus theta equals to minus sine theta to look into two different triangles, one reflected reflection of the other. The second using the cost rule. Do you see that? Both are positive, cosine, so they should be same. And third, we use the coordinates themselves, y over x. And these are the ways in which you can prove your identities also. Using coordinates is one of the most effective ways of proving identities which are very tough really, okay? I hope you enjoyed this process and you remember the reflection identities sine of minus theta is minus sine theta, cos minus theta is cos theta and tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. It very well correlates with your cost rule. Okay, thank you.